Good morning, everybody. I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. It's a beautiful autumn morning, and I'm going to do a five minute chicken tip video about why to keep your nesting boxes comfy and clean, but also small. So good morning, we're out in the middle of doing all of these chores. I'm going to jump right into the content and keep this under five minutes. So, um, and I'm not trying to sell you anything or anything like that. I'm out doing like the deep cleaning of the coop. The chickens just got fresh water. I'm filling up their food. We've been taking care of the plants and all the things. But when it comes to setting up a chicken coop and having a space for chickens, I'm gonna open this up. I'm going to show you on my coop, of course, this is the Omaha, you can see this model here, but here's the deal with nesting boxes. First of all, if you buy any kind of coop kit or most chicken coop setups, the nesting boxes are very close to where your chickens sleep. And by the way, before we go any farther, a nesting box is the little space that is pretty secluded, it's pretty private, and it's where you teach your hens to lay the eggs. They don't want to be out in an exposed area, um, so in the wild they would be under bushes, you know, they would find like a private place to lay their eggs and then in the wild also they would lay like one egg a day and then they would sit on those for about three weeks and then if they had been mated with by a rooster you know then that makes you know a baby chick anyway so in chicken coops, usually we have lots of nesting boxes. So I'm going to talk about them really quick. I have six hens, or excuse me, I have five hens. I have a sort of a pseudo rooster. <laughs> um, but I don't need all these nesting boxes. Chickens, even if you have plenty of spaces, they will usually tend to want to share a nesting box anyway. Why? My guess is because they like the feel of sitting on multiple eggs instead of just one egg and you take it and one egg and you take it. Um, you could see this video here on why I have fake eggs in, but spoiler alert, it's mostly because I was teaching my young hens who were just starting to lay eggs for the first time in their life, like this is where you do the thing. But here's the problem with nesting boxes. Like I said, jumping back to the original point, nesting boxes are usually very close to the roost bars where your chickens sleep. If the nesting boxes are similar in height to your roost bars, in, I, in an ideal world, they should be the roost bars should be higher because chickens are going to want to roost on the highest thing that they can easily access. So as you can see, my roost bars, while they're nice and flat like they're supposed to be, they're not really higher than my nesting boxes. And the nesting boxes are right here next door. So I have one chicken who has been sleeping in the nesting boxes. That's not a good thing. It's not like an emergency or like, a, like an extremely bad thing, but I don't want her to do that. Why? Because chickens poop in their sleep. They will poop all night. So you could see the droppings that are on those eggs. I need to take them out and rinse them off so that they're not dirty. I don't want the chickens pooping where they're laying eggs. I want it to be nice and clean. So you don't want the nesting box to be so big and luxurious and comfortable that the chickens want to hang out in there for no reason or that they want to sleep in there. Does that make sense? The nesting box should only be for them to lay eggs. So for example, the rooster has no business ever being in the nesting box because he ain't doing that. Baby chicks or hens who are not of laying age don't need to be in there. Hens who are done laying don't really need to be in there either. This is only a space for eggs. I don't want anything else going on in here. So yes, like I just did fresh pine bedding. I put fresh herbs like plants that I grow like rosemary, thyme, oregano, basil because it helps deter bugs that would bug my chickens while they're while they're laying eggs and you know there's there's the argument that if it, those things are around the chickens or if they're ingesting those things it helps um, to be sort of like a probiotic or something to help boost their immune system um, but I want it to be clean. Um, you could put DE in there. You could put poultry dust. There's a lot of things of what you can do. Um, and I use pine. Um, you can also use sand or other things that don't have any dust and that's not cedar um, to make any respiratory problems for your chickens. And I know this video has gotten kind of winding and wandering. But basically, you want your nesting boxes to be small enough that one chicken can do her business in there, but it's not big and comfy enough for her to sleep. So if you've seen previous videos of mine, this coop has the four nesting boxes here. And then if I lean across again and show you that is like a storage area i know it's out of focus right now that is a storage zone that's where we have everything for our fans our solar fan build and for our automatic coop door um that could have been another nesting box over there but i don't know if you could tell it's like almost a foot and a half long that's way too big for a nesting box um so if you've got nesting boxes i mean the ones that i've got are about 10 inches across 
There is pine in there. It's nice and cushy. And the chickens will go in and they'll redecorate things and dig with their beak or with their feet to make it comfortable for them to lay eggs. And each chicken, if you do have multiple nesting boxes, will have their one preferred spot. Um, but don't let the nesting boxes be too big because then you're going to have lazy chickens sleeping in there and pooping all over the place where they're also laying your breakfast. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know down in the comments if you've got questions, um, what you put in your nesting boxes. But there you go.